What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful channel with only the most beautiful people watching, guys. I'm of course still so excited because Forever just dropped and I already, of course, did a reaction to it, guys. So be sure to check my reaction out after and now watch this because we have now here an in-depth analysis video where I'm gonna point out some easter eggs, maybe a little things that you've missed here and there in the MV um, or just some memorable scenes that I wanna talk about because I feel like this is so far the biggest and in my opinion also the best baby monster MV that we got from YG and um, because that MV is so big and so high budget there are a lot of things that maybe some of you have not noticed and um, there are definitely some easter eggs that uh, I only caught when I watched it two or three times already so um, yeah we'll go frame by frame basically for this MV and I want to talk about all the things um, that I found in the MV um, and also some scenes that were just so great that I want to point them out again so um, yeah we have now a little easter egg um, analysis things that maybe you missed video and um, definitely let me know in the comments guys do you want me to do this more often for baby monster but maybe also for other groups when newer MVs are coming out um, that on the same day I try to make like a little easter egg analysis video so you are also able to see what is going on in the MV fully let me that know guys and also like the video and um, yeah now let's start with the opening scene we can see here room 401 baby monsters baby monster members only and 401 first of April was of course their official debut so um, that is why it is room number 401 here move on to the next picture we have of course here um, Ruka we can see the other uh, room numbers 405 402 but they are walking past it because of course they want to get to 401 that scene in my opinion is just so pleasant to the eye I love that they're sitting there like in a line um, it looks incredible and uh, we can see that they are all opening up the invitations here because of course in the end of the MV they are like at, at some kind of model show model walk and um, I'm just uh, really really happy that we can see how they are like opening the the invitation letters here we can see also baby monster branded boxes in the back and um, I feel like that shot looks just so good the way that they are lining up here so um, yeah Next shot is that, that we got from the teaser already, of course, and I just want to point out again, um, the attention for detail is so high, we can see the Baby Monster branded bags, same as Blackpink also had in a few MVs, they also had Blackpink branded bags, and even their hats from the hotel staff has like a Baby Monster on it, which is, um, yeah, of course, the detail that we saw on the MV teaser already, but I just wanted to point it out here again. Next up, that shot of course looks incredible. They are at some kind, for me it looks like it could be like a museum or something or like a hallway for some big building. And um, we have a lot of sculptures here, we have hotel stuff, we have of course the kind of Cinderella shoe which will also uh, have a role later on. And uh, we have Baby Monster branded posters. We have Baby Monster 07 with all the seven members on here. And I really hope that maybe someday we will get that poster because that poster looks incredible. We have also other baby monster branded posters on the wall also on the right side we have baby monster branded posters but especially that poster looks incredible and uh, i really 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 uh, would love if we would get a chance to get those posters they look incredible we also have like a baby monster branded plate here so um everything uh, is kind of baby monster branded in here but um the posters definitely caught my attention because they look incredible and i hope that we will be able to get them maybe Next up, that scene, wow, that scene was so incredible. So you can see that Ion is wearing her white dress, um, but in one of the best transitions that I've seen um, for, for a long time, I would say, she's changing that to that dress. And it is so flawless, it looks so amazing, even if you watch it on like 0 0.5 speed or something, it still looks amazing. And um, that was shot beautifully. So I really wanted to highlight that out because I feel like I got it in my reaction, but only after I saw it for a second time. So go back to the MV and see that transition from that white dress, then it turns a little bit to like a pink dress, and then it's fully that pink shiny dress, which looks of course absolutely amazing. In the back we can see again baby monster posters in the dark. Next up, that scene for me also uh, was so cool to see. We have Parita walking down, see her uh, mirror reflection uh, in the storefront and the mirror reflection is like dancing and like saying hi to her so it's not actually like a reflection um, of hey uh, what I'm doing right now but more like like something else and uh, I like that the reflection is dancing to her and um, yeah it looks really cool in that dress also. Next up we have that cover shoot of Iron which I just want to put in here because it looks incredible um, but also because on the teaser pictures they said like uh, cover girl Iron, cover girl Chiquita and that for me looks like a cover girl shoot 
So uh, I really like that they have like the cover girl model kind of image for this MV. It is still not a story driven MV. I, I hoped and maybe expected a little bit of a story driven MV. We have a little bit of story in there. But I, I just like that they um, had like the model kind of concept for this. And of course, as I said, incredible shot. Ion looks really good with that hair color right now. Um, now they're at the fashion week, at the at the fashion premiere. We can see other models in the back running there. We have a lot of photographers, a lot of, I don't know, important fashion people, I would say. Um, but I love that they are like in the middle of it. They're in the center of it. They are dancing. And I just like that scene a lot with the globe. Um, on top of them and the black floor looks really good, really clean and uh, just really high budget, really cool scene. And I'm wondering if those are like actual um, fashion week kind of models in the back. For me, it looks like it. It could be, definitely could be. Then uh, we have that Cinderella shoe, which I talked about at the beginning. That was also like one of the shoes that was in the um, museum in the first few shots where the poster were in the back. And now, of course, we have the kind of Cinderella shoe, which I... Uh, which I liked in the little reference. Then we have that killing part of Asa, which I absolutely love. And I, again, I said it in my reaction already, want to point out, I love the way Chiquita is dancing to it. That is the machine gun rap part that Asa spoiled already in her um, interview countdown. So again, be sure guys, we reacted to every single interview countdown where the girls, each of the girls talked a minute about the MV, the song a little bit and gave us a little bit of a spoiler here and there. And we reacted to that, of course, because I want to give you all the information. So subscribe, uh, guys it is completely free and you will be updated in the future um, but as I said hey I have like a machine gun rap part and it's gonna be amazing it's like ba -ba 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 -bum. and that is a rap part one of my favorite parts of the song and I just love the way that Chiquita is dancing to it perfectly to uh, to us's flow and I feel like in a live performance this is gonna be amazing the crowd will go crazy and this is their shining moment which reminds me a lot of Ions and Ruka's moment out of Sheesh where they are doing the handshake because it is like a moment for between only them basically and it hits hard. So I'm really excited for the first live performance or like the dance practice because that scene is going to be incredible in there. Next up, we have Ion dancing here in the spotlight. And uh, the girls also talked about in the interview countdown that there's like a spotlight scene. Ion said that. And um, I just love because lyrics are saying like dancing under the moonlight and Ion is basically dancing under the moonlight. So um, I just like that they... Um, yeah, I don't know, made it visually what was happening in the lyrics also. Next up, we have that shot um, of the girls going in here for the claw machines. And uh, of course, Parita later on is in one of those claw machines. But I just love that they have also the baby monster branding on here. I don't know, it's just a little tiny detail. But it just made the, the MV look more expensive and... I don't know. I just, I just uh, liked it, and we can see the the crazy, crazy, crazy good um, quality of Chiquita in front of a camera. Wow, incredible! And now onto the choreo here. We can see Rora, of course, in the front, and she's doing that choreo that she was spoiling in her interview. And we can see the claw machines in the back here. So um, yeah, I just want to say that um, the little choreo that she spoiled in her interview was actually here part of the chorus that we can see right here. And yeah, the claw machine is obviously in the back again. That scene stands out also for me. Parita looks just so incredibly happy here. The way she's running there, her dress looks incredible. And I just love that the billboard behind her has her image uh, like inside of the claw machine in. The contrast between like the pink and the blue looks amazing. And I don't know, I just liked that scene a lot that she was just like running and uh, having herself in the bag was um, really cool to see. Now we have here Rora again inside a mini car, and that is the scene that Chiquita spoiled. Chiquita said, yeah, we are like riding a mini car. And I was wondering, wait, are you guys like in the brand? Like there's a car, car brand called Mini. Um, but no, they're like actually driving in mini cars. And we can see a little uh, B on top here for Baby Monster. Same as here in the bag also, the storefront. Um, I don't know if that is the storefront, but there's definitely a storefront when Chiquita's running out that says Baby Monster also um, at the storefront outside. So everything is Baby Monster branded here, uh, as well as the car, of course. Um, I it, it took me a while to get this kind of screenshot. It was super hard to get it right. But in the end, when they are driving out, um, there's only a tiny little bit of the car, of course, driving towards the city. But we can see it has Baby Monster as the license plate and I feel like it is super fitting because the <coughs> sorry the backlights of the car look a little bit like monster eyes so maybe not intentional but still 
want to point that out. That scene also stands out for me because it looks a little bit like their made it moment, you know? All seven of them together looking in this, uh, like on top of the city and this looks for me like, hey, we made it. This looks for me like this is the made it moment a little bit. Beautiful shot and I don't know, I just want to highlight it because for me it's like one kind of made it moment a little bit. Of course, in the end, we have Parita flying into her bed, and I love that they did a cool transition between her, like her flying inside the bed in her dream, waking up, she's there, and Dorbel is running. And I feel like the storyline that we can get away from this is also, she was dreaming about getting maybe an invitation, dreaming about being a model, dreaming about what um, also her idol life is right now. They were all maybe dreaming about becoming an idol. And then they were waking up and we're like, oh, it's not happening. But actually it is happening. I feel like this kind of message is, is meant to be like, hey, we are living our dream now. And of course, the pre-release single also where was called Dream. So I feel like they tried to get this kind of storyline of, hey, we always dreamed about it. We thought it will never happen, but um, we don't need to wake up anymore to live our dream because um, uh, we, we, we are not only um, living our dream, inside our dream uh, we can live our dream now I, I feel like i said it really complicated but you guys know what i mean like the dream has become reality basically and uh, i feel like that is what the mv tries to tell us here and um yeah there could be of course <coughs> many 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 different kind of um easter eggs and maybe tiny little messages that i've missed guys if that is the case definitely let me know in the comments and uh, i will i will happily add that as like a pinned comment or something and um, but those are like the highlights the little easter eggs and the memorable scenes that i definitely wanted to talk about uh, so yeah as i said if there are some that i've missed definitely let me know guys and also this is the first time that i'm doing something like this maybe it wasn't perfect in every single aspect but let me know if we should do this more often especially of course for baby monster and um yeah that being said guys thank you so so much uh, i definitely need feedback on this kind of format so as i said let me know if you should do this more often or not and maybe i could show you here and there some scenes that you haven't seen and um yeah some easter eggs maybe that you have not noticed and yeah that being said guys thank you so so much for watching uh, i really hope that you have a wonderful beautiful day don't forget to stream forever guys really important and also don't forget to smile today i love you all i'll see you really soon have a great day and bye bye